Ayo, y'all already know what it is. It's story time with Miss Haley, and today I'm gonna read Animal Hide and Seek. In the wild, some animals eat other animals for food. The animals hope their enemies do not see them. Some animals are covered in patterns and colors. They look like their surroundings. This is called camouflage. They have a coma butterfly, a green tree frog, and a woodcock. In the shade of the woods, a little fawn lies sleeping next to a tree. Its spotted coat makes it look like a pile of fallen leaves. Here's a family of wild boars. A baby boar might make a tasty meal for a wolf. The babies have striped coats. They are hard to see. In the summer, the snowshoe hare has red-brown fur. In the winter, its fur grows thick and white. The hare crouches on the snow. An owl flies overhead. It does not see the still and silent hare. This American dipper waits near a mountain stream. It is looking for insects to eat. Its blue-gray feathers make it hard to see against the water. The gray fur of the chinchillas keeps them hidden against the rocks and stones. Owls, foxes, and snakes do not notice them there. When this butterfly's wings are closed, they are dark to blend in with the shadows. When it flutters, its wings look like the eyes of a big animal. This startles an enemy. The butterfly has time to fly away. This pipefish beats its tiny fins and swims among the branches of underwater plants. Can you see it? It is not easy. These decorator crabs hook seaweed, stones, and small sea creatures onto their bodies. The crabs are hidden. As the crabs grow, they crawl out of their shells. They put the old decorations onto their new shells. In the rainforest, the chameleon is as green as the branch it sits on. It can change color to match its surroundings. It is hard for enemies to find. Can you see the stick insect? It is the same color and shape as the dead leaves on the forest floor. The stick insect's eggs look like seeds. In the African grasslands, zebras graze together for safety. Their striped coats make it hard to tell one zebra from another. Lions have trouble seeing which one to attack. In the dry desert, a meerkat sits up and sniffs the air. Its silver brown fur matches the earth. An eagle flies overhead. The color of the meerkat's fur makes it hard for the eagle to see them. Lots of animals are camouflaged. They are hiding from you. How many animals can you find? And there's a looper moth right there. And then there's a gecko. Oh, it's like the whole branch is the gecko. That's crazy. And then an orch orchid mantis is right there. And then a flounder is right there. And then a ptarmigan is right there. And then the tree frog is right there. And then the leaf insect is that right there. And then the thorn bug are those two little things right there. And then the seal, there's there's a bunch of seals in there. And that's the end of the book. I hope y'all enjoyed listening to it. I enjoyed reading for you guys. Um, hope y'all I did okay. Bye.